bad moods are a surcharge. The uh, charges and discounts are on the sign, but not limited to what's on the sign. Ella, I see you got elves there. Um, I. What, what about? That's an ancestral grudge. You ever hear about the War of Vengeance or the War of the Beards? Can I have a little water? <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's that's good. Thank you. I'm not very educated. Maybe you can educate me. Well, what is this war? About something like 3,000 years ago, a bloody elf decided to cut off a dwarf envoy's beard. Never been the same since. Oh, that one incident. Aye. Have you never... I tell you what, if you think you can get away with cutting off a dwarf's beard without a fierce retribution, you got another thing coming. It's very... I'm sure you were there. The War of the Beards. That was some time ago. Right? But we've got these uneducated people here asking why there's an ancestral grudge. Do the elves have the same grudge against the dwarves? Some do, yes. I personally don't care. Mm. I care more for the forest than I do his mountain. So, well, I remember him being like, yeah, the money, so... I like money. Why do you think I'm running a shop? Yep. Right? See? <laughs> Faultless logic. Rock hard brain. That's what we dwarves are got. I don't see many of the dwarves around here. Do they not uh, travel this way far? Well, much? I mean, out of Barak Var to the coast is <laughs> the nearest proper hold. We've got in the wilderness abandoned forts that have been attacked by damn this fire! Greenskins and rat men throughout the decades and, and centuries. And so a few of us sticking around are trying to eventually take them back from the rat men and the, some of his lot too. I did nothing. Yeah, you, no you didn't because you're what, like 12 years old? But 56 years ago, when my outpost was attacked, I'm sure I saw an ogre there. You're lucky that's tied up, mate. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about the rules that these greenskins and ogres can just walk among us in town? I'm not happy, but if they got full pockets, well, that just is a surcharge, isn't it? Yeah, According okay. to the sign. Yep. I show that ogre's on there just to annoy him. Yep. Mr. Well, you... Mr. Dwarf. Aye? Will I bring my empty cup back to you? No, it's yours. It's mine to keep. Aye. You get to keep that cup. Good sale. Damn. It only cost me some of these shiny things. Right, I'm all about them. It's pretty nice shiny things you got. <laughs> but apparently they're important to people like him. Persons, dwarves, things. There you go, you got it in the end. I said, I said if the elf called me a man again, there'd be another surcharge on the I next didn't cup. I call you a man, I said person. Right, right, things. that's why I said you got it at the end, but yeah. earlier today, yeah. there was a problem. Yeah. I think, I think we've resolved it as far as can be tolerated in a multicultural town such as this. Hmm. Aye, Captain. No, judging the fire is a surcharge. You gotta search out your captain. Maybe. You might be kicked out of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not then. <laughs> I've got right. some good gear to fix that. Ah. Yeah, good frilly bits. Aye. If I'm not careful, the beard will go off. Or your hand. Aye, didn't they worry about that? 